Let's talk health matters now. The National Primary Health Care Development Agency is worried about the increasing cases of measles in the country as the agency plans to hold a nationwide measles vaccination campaign from the last quarter of 2017 to the first quarter of 2018. The agency warns that states who fail to release their counterpart funds between September the 15th would be stepped down from participating in the measles campaign. But what can we do about this and how do we do reduce the numbers? To give us more perspective on this issue, we're being joined by the Executive Director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Fizal Schwab. He joins us from our Abuja studios. You're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Can you discuss the statistics of the increase in Nigeria over the past three years with us? Sorry, take that again. We just want to know the numbers. How has it been over the last three years? Right. In the course of, of the last three years, especially uh, since 2014, we've seen an increase in the incidence of uh, measles cases, actually leading to outbreaks in several, part, several parts of the country, especially in northern Nigeria. So from 2014 to 2016, we've seen... Uh, an increase in the numbers of outbreaks from 166 outbreaks uh, in 2014 to 183 outbreaks. And then there's been an increase in the numbers of LGAs that are involved uh, in these outbreaks. Particularly in northern Nigeria, we see that more kids uh, are involved in these outbreaks. F about 190 kids per uh, million, ki uh, per million uh, have been involved uh, in these outbreaks uh, in 2015 and uh, 527 uh, per million in 2016. And that gives us a con concern that despite all the uh, campaigns that we've had uh, in this country, we continue to see such uh, concerning numbers of kids that uh, are coming down with uh, measles. Now, why is that the case? The North, children under five, why is that the case? Well, principally, what we're seeing is that uh, there seems to be uh, a reversal of that culture of taking kids to the health facilities to take uh, their routine immunization vaccines. There's an over-reliance over on uh, supplemental immunization activities on campaigns. The bedrock of any sustainable uh, immunization program is the strengthening of routine immunization. And that means we have to get our parents taking their kids to, to get all the shots that they need when they are due. The campaigns, like the campaigns we're going to have in the last quarter of this year, are supplemental. They do not supplant, they do not take the place of the routine immunization uh, shots that kids must have. And that is the message that we're trying to, to send out there. Once parents begin to go back to the health facilities, in the urban areas, in the rural areas, and ensure that they get their full complement of vaccines against all uh, vaccine-preventable diseases, then we can begin to see a gradual uh, reduction in the numbers of measles cases. Not just measles cases, actually, we can now begin to see uh, our ability to control uh, against all vaccine-preventable diseases. Even the polio that we're this close to eradicating, it requires the kids to take their full complement of oral uh, vaccines, oral polio vaccines, during, tr through the routine immunization system. Can you tell us more about the necessary steps that need to be taken to prevent such infections? So the first thing is, you know, parents need to uh, take their kids so they're able to get all the routine immunization uh, vaccines that they need, especially measles vaccine, at uh, nine months. But where this has not worked very well, we're planning uh, to have a campaign across the country. First, in the northern states, uh, from the 26th of October uh, to the 1st of uh, November. In, uh, that this, this is going to happen in the northwest. Uh, in the northeastern states, we're going to have this campaign uh, in November. In most of the southern states, we're going to start this campaign next year. However, we're only a few weeks 
to the commencement of the campaign in the northwestern states. And we're concerned that of all the uh, states that are going to start this campaign, only four states have so far released the counterpart funding that is required uh, for us to have a successful campaign. So we have KB has released, uh, Borno State has released, Nasarawa State has released, and also Imo. Imo State has also re uh, released the counterpart funding that is required to have a successful campaign. Uh, Mr. President uh, has also released the sum of 3.5 billion naira as federal government comp uh, contribution to ensure that we have a quality campaign. The federal government's contribution is only one step of the way. The states also have to bring uh, their part uh, of, the, of the funding to ensure we have a good quality campaign. We've been engaging with uh, the governors. We had meetings with them through the Nigeria Governors Forum. I've got commitment from a lot of them, from all of them actually, that they're going to, they're going to release these funds. We're hopeful that by September 15th, that is this week, uh, that all the states, especially the states that are going to be involved in the campaign next month, will release the counterpart funding that is required uh, for a successful campaign. We've also reached an agreement and a resolution, you know, between MPA, CDA, the Federal Ministry of Health, and our development partners. Let's hope that, that if states do not put on the table, on the table, the funding that is required for a successful campaign, then we'll have no choice to step those states down. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Dr. Fizal Schwab.